decided to be a crew, that's when like, I don't know, I, I was able to kind of turn my street art and graffiti into, into a, more of a profession instead of like something that I just love to do all the time. It became more of like, all right, I can, I can survive and eat off of this and still do what I love to do. And it's like you never work a day in your life if you get to do what you love to do all the time. So. So Few and Far Women, we are a movement that brings together women in graffiti arts, mural arts, and basically any kind of art and also skateboarding and it's a movement that brings women together to paint all over the world and it's an amazing experience to be able to paint with all of these women that I've always looked up to and now I get to paint next to them. And <laughs> Professional street artist, I guess that's what I am. Um, because I've mastered the art of getting sponsorship and reaching out to different companies to promote them and also have them support me to do what I love to do and getting my work and my dreams up on the wall. So my style is very feminine, female-centric. Um, I use a lot of patterns with meanings and history behind them and I'm also very influenced by tropical colors and tropical feelings like being warm and hot so I like bright colors that make you feel good and happy. To me the relevance of street art and global culture is reclaiming public space and basically taking um, our own culture which is our art and our graffiti and the way we write and reclaiming our culture because we're constantly being fed with you know commercials of iPad billboards and reminded of everything that we need to buy and and think that we should have but really we have everything that we need already and we have our own culture and that's within our street art and our graffiti and our letters and our characters and styles and that's who we really are. We're not these advertisements that we're bombarded with. We are our own culture and our own style. If you have something to say, Street art and graffiti and murals are the best way to communicate your story, how you feel, and bring up issues and topics that wouldn't be talked about without your artwork being there. And it's a way for people to see you in the street because not everybody can go into a gallery, but if it's right there, you're forced to see whatever you have to say that's important and if you don't say it nobody else will and it's important that you have a voice and a message and something to say because there's so many issues that we need to talk about and that need to be discussed and if you bring it up with your art it can change the world and make people feel good about themselves or change the way that they think or treat other people and it's important to develop your own style and be yourself and find your own unique voice through your art. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I could go on and on, but I was like... <laughs>